Oh yeah, Bison is gonna make an attempt at it right now. I can already tell. He's called up all of his Sesame Street reject friends and he is definitely gonna knock you out. He didn't even touch him. Just the threat was enough for him to give up. That was a complete miss. Am I losing my mind? What's up guys, welcome back to Burrito Bison Lancha Libre. That game where Candyland has ravaged Mexico, and rather than closing off their portal and saving our people, we've decided to launch ourselves into it so that we can get back to pieces of a recipe that could probably just be Googled. Millions of people are dying, but at least we'll have guacamole. Am I imagining things or do a lot of these videos start off with Pineapple Spank versus Beaster Bunny? Maybe she's got a crush. I, I don't know. She could be into big, muscly chocolate rabbits. At the very least, she spent a whole lot of time with her foot firmly planted between his Easter eggs. Or should I say beaster eggs? I don't really know. I'll have to ask him the next time he can stand up. But like I said last episode, I really don't want to continue playing this game regularly if it's going to get repetitive. That's gonna be the big thing, is I, I wanna only return for an episode when I've got something interesting to show you guys. And the overwhelming response in the comments was, no, no, we are giving you tons of support on these videos because we want to see you playing it. <laughs> do not cut stuff out. So I'm gonna do my best to continue playing regularly and show you guys as much as I can, but I stand firm by the fact that there's gotta be some kind of progress. There's gotta be some kind of advancement, whether it be story related or buying upgrades or, or something like that, because it's a mobile game. you know. It's meant to be grindy and the kind of thing you play while you poop for 15 minutes a day rather than five hours at a time and then edit it down into an entertaining video. But I think we're pretty close to something happening. Right now, I've got four rifts completed. This is the fifth. And you guys were telling me in the comments that after five, something should happen again. I have no idea what. I'm doing my very best to avoid spoilers because every twist in this game could not be more unexpected. I mean, I gave you guys a rundown at the beginning of every episode of what's been happening, and it all sounds like one ridiculous fever dream. Oh, no, Spank, you gotta pull it together. You're falling apart at the end, Spank. Come on now. We gotta at least get some cake out of this. Oh, there we go. That's gonna be very helpful. Come on, get back here, you. Gotcha. Okay, as long as we're going like 200 kilometers per hour when we hit the wall, I think we should be able to get through and make some decent progress. Thank you, crap. Yeah, there's still quite a bit of cake there, so it's gonna be a little bit challenging for us to get through, but it should happen today. I think we can definitely get there, especially because I'm getting like... 50 million dollars every run now. A couple of chili bombs would definitely go a long way towards getting me through this wall, so hopefully we can get just a little lucky. Why is it always the last card every single time? I don't know what it is, just watch, it's always... I've never been more disappointed to get 60 million dollars. You've gotta be kidding me with this. Okay, last pinata, come on now. I know I've said some mean things about you, but I could really use every time gotta keep up the suspense with the chili bombs. That's good though. And yes, okay, I know I have played a little bit in between episodes. I think I got one recipe piece and I've upgraded some stuff. Like I, I got pickpocketing level eight now. You'll have no idea which pockets I'm picking on a gummy bear, but <laughs> it earns us lots of money. Well, I'm extra happy that we unlocked two chili bombs now because apparently I gotta waste one of them on chicken boy. And this should be an easy knockout for you. You guys crush these things by accident all the time. Just lean off and tickle him. That was only like two thirds of his health. What the hell, dude? How are you such a poultry pushover? I can't get over how weak you are. I have noticed that he does have one saving grace. The fact that he can swoop up is really useful for getting above the clouds, and you get a ton of money for catapulting out of the clouds. I, I, I very rarely manage to pull it off, but he's usually the one to do it, so I'll give him credit there. It's just something that he tries and fails at quite often. Okay, well, I'll take some honey, I suppose. I need to kill like 325 gummy bears in a single run. That's one of my challenges and I have no idea how that's gonna happen. Uh, okay, we're like halfway there. You can color me mildly impressed. I probably need to spend less time in the air. Right, there's, there's not as many gummies up here. <laughs> At the same time, I'm, I'm trying to get through the wall. Okay, screw the challenges. 
I'm gonna make that a, a mental note now that it, it doesn't matter. I don't really care about these candy shards or whatever I get. We still have no idea what they do. I just need to focus on maintaining speed and getting through the wall. Okay, we're about two thirds of the way there. Hello, fans. Can, can I touch you? No, no, ah, Dr. Worm again is exactly what we needed. I hate that he could get partially above the clouds and not have it count. It drives me. No, but right now, especially with the chili bomb, we absolutely have to be doing our best to maintain speed. This is our one opportunity. Come on. No, no, you're out of jumps. No, no, you would hit like three police up, four police officers in a row. Oh my God. You are as useless as tits on a bull. Oh, that is so devastating. The police just gangbanged him. I've got $473 million, and I'm definitely seeing three upgrades that we could really use. Obviously, police control would come in handy. <laughs> A little late, but you know, better now than never. $265 million for that. Our speedometer is tempting, but I don't think we spend a lot of time above our max speed anymore. I might need to catch up the rest of the upgrades. I, I think the biggest thing, though, is going to be Cake Eater. I, I keep getting into the wall and getting stopped by the cake, so we just need to make more room. Oh, yeah, Bison is going to make an attempt at it right now. I can already tell. He's called up all of his Sesame Street reject friends, and he is definitely going to knock you out. He didn't even touch him. Just the threat was enough for him to give up. <laughs> that was a complete miss. Am I losing my mind? <laughs> Amazing. Chicken Boy can lean off and hit him square in the jaw, and the guy just laughs. Burrito Bison looks at him the wrong way, and he crumbles. <laughs> Wonderful. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. If Bison can get there, he's going to do some damage. He's the one with the big, beefy boy body, but... Getting him there is definitely the problem. We gotta try to get stuff like Dr. Wormageddon. I've upgraded this enough now that every time I have a decent run and we get the gem, it's it's like $1.3 million, which is insane. <laughs> There's really no other way of putting it. That's such a stupid amount of money. So a lot of these special gummies are making a huge difference in how much money we can earn. I think I've got the upgrades pretty finely tuned so that we're ahead of the curve and he is coming in hot. Okay, yeah, we can use some bombs. We can use, I'll use anything, anything. That's good, right? That's going to speed us up. I can't score anything up because I'm out of control. Kill a bunch of gummies along the way. Fantastic. Now get, no, get down, get down, get get down towards the ground. Just, just keep them low. Good. That's quite a bit of progress. Mm. Oh, come on. <laughs> that was so good. That's that big beefy boy body doing work. Oh my God. Hopefully we can hit that tunnel now. He, he's definitely made space. Spank can fit through there, right? If Spank has a thing for Beaster Bunny, then Bernard's definitely has a thing for Spank. He keeps coming back no matter how many times he gets her foot in his mouth. Again, don't take that out of context. Keep your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> like, I, 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 I try my best not to say things that could be so blatantly taken out of context, but at the same time, like, I will admit, while these comments are definitely a blight on YouTube and a plague all over the place, out of contact comments are quite funny a lot of the time because I don't even remember what I say. Like, it's just a rambling. Uh, even when I'm editing these videos, I'm just like, what am I talking about? Or I'll laugh at some of the stuff that I say because you just kind of have verbal diarrhea. You keep talking and, and hope to say things that are clever as you hopefully pay attention to what's happening. Like, we're already halfway through this level and I do not know what's happened up until this point. <laughs> Good things by the looks of it. Hopefully we can keep this up. We're well above max speed. This is the point where I start paying attention and it's all gonna fall apart. Just you wait. <laughs> and it's very important for us to remember now, we know where Bison's tunnel is. It's at the the lower portion. Oh my god, Spank, you were so lucky. <laughs> I keep screwing this stuff up. Why, why are you not... What What was... What just happened? I lost control there for a second. That wasn't on me. Okay, no, st stay low. Stay low. Stay low. Good. That's gotta be good. That's gotta be... Yes. 
<laughs> we didn't find Bison's tunnel, but that's still the progress that I need. Time travel unlocked. You can now go back in time and start over with permanent upgrades to go further in less time. What? Okay, we got our recipe piece. That's the big thing. And we got another rift and some more missions and so on and so forth, but... Why would I want to go back in time just to do what I've already done faster? I've already done what I've done. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good. Again, can we get Spank out of the void of space? I feel like she's going to suffocate. <laughs> she's already dead. Oh, the candy shards we've been collecting this entire time are to make candies, which we can then unwrap to time travel? Could anybody have predicted that? <laughs> I can increase my starting money, rift multiplier, money multiplier, or buffed out. First, I need to get the buffed out achievement, whatever that is. Uh, okay, well, let's unwrap ourselves some candy. So we have 11 candies, and we can put them wherever we want. If I go back in time and restart, do I lose everything? Am I going to lose all my upgrades? Am I going to lose my tens of millions of dollars and my recipes? Should I be buying a recipe or should I be buying upgrades? I probably want to buy an upgrade. I know the entire point of the game is supposed to be to get these recipes, right? It seems to be that's what the story revolves around. But at the same time, if I'm going back and restarting, it seems more beneficial to have stuff along the way, like Sweet Time Willy. Catch him and he will reward you with a time candy shard. That seems really good. <laughs> we got him. Just like that, that was pretty easy. Okay, uh, can I get anything for two recipe pieces? No, no, two recipe pieces is practically garbage. All right then, so we can unwrap our candies. We get 11 of them. What do I want to start with? I don't think money really matters. I think money multiplier is where the real value is, right? Because it's gonna be times five and then times four for Maniachi. So it's technically gonna be times 20. <laughs> that seems really, really good. I might get a couple of rift multiplier. Oh, the rift multiplier limit. I don't know what that is. We'll get a couple of them. Times 12 seems like a lot. Starting money, I don't really care about. We're just gonna do that. I guess we're ready to time travel. Oh dear, warning. <laughs> Who would have guessed that a shirtless guy with a mask should get a warning before time traveling? This will reset your progress and start a brand new game. You will start over completely with no upgrades and it'll cost you half your recipe pieces. I'm really happy I spent some of them now. The good news is that you'll keep your time travel upgrades, which will allow you to reach further in less time every time you time travel. In other words, it's worth it. Okay, so it is essentially prestiging, that's the Call of Duty version, but like every game does this, where you restart with a multiplier so that you can get further and reach a wall. Right? There comes a point where you can't get any further without having restarted, and it definitely feels like I'm close to that because this game has become a bit of a grind. So for one shred of a recipe piece, we can go back in time. I mean, that seems like a pretty good deal. I assume this is a good thing. Okay, you guys got this. Who could have guessed that the sugar people would be able to figure out time travel? I, I thought they were all little mindless idiots. Oh yeah, look at that. They're invading, coming back, recipe book. Oh, that's weird. We have a recipe book and he has a recipe book. How does that work? Oh my god, they even changed the main menu. It's now Burrito Bison Launch a Libre back in time. I'm not changing the intro to these videos. That is way too much of a mouthful. And this is the very beginning of the game again. We've got no money, we've got no upgrades, no bears, no opponents, nothing like that. We do, oh, we unlocked one of the ones that we were missing. Cake Explosion allows you to use rocket slams inside giant cake walls to create explosions. This is something that people have been yelling at me in the comments about for a long time and I didn't even have the upgrades. 
It wasn't even possible. I was losing my mind trying to figure out how I'm supposed to use these extra rockets in the cake wall. People keep telling me it's possible. There you have it. Now we got it figured out. So are we just back to fighting that old hairy bow tie by himself? Ah, oh, crap. That's what I was supposed to do before I go back in time. I completely forgot that there's some kind of stopwatch mode. And people were telling me that I need to play it, it's fun, and that once I beat certain levels, I'll unlock certain upgrades or something like that. We're not gonna get very far right now. I would imagine we're gonna go like 100 meters. Oh my god, we're so slow. <laughs> I forgot how slow this game was in the beginning. <laughs> 15 kilometers per hour. We're moving at the speed of smell. These runs last like two seconds now. Oh, that times six multiplier is juicy though. We went from times eight to times 24 with multiple levels of money multipliers, which is a mouthful to say the least. I think we definitely got to continue focusing on pickpocket early. It was the right decision the last time and it's even better this time around. Wait a minute, did it reset the entire game? The, the Cookinator is out there again and we need to break through like six walls to get to him and you of course, but that's not all too difficult. So we have to get to the final boss and then get to the rifts and then, man oh man, mobile games really love recycling their content. I'm not trying to grill the game, okay? I'm definitely having fun with it, but still. Holy crap. Yeah, okay, 1.1. So we bought a 0.1 difference in pickpocketing, but that's gonna be times 24, so it ends up being pretty significant. So I've gone on a couple more runs, and it is exactly what you would expect. It's the same as the first episode. I've gotten to the first wall, I've saved us a little bit of money, and now I really wanna see what Cake Explosion can do. Why is it the smallest opponents always have the loudest voices and never seem to learn their lesson? Like, how many times do you need to get Falcon punched off that stool before you decide to pack it up and go home? Hopefully, we can get a good punches pilot here and actually reach the wall. I'm still not 100% consistent on getting to the wall every time because we don't have any special gummies. Like, we're just skirting along, trying our best to hit these basic gummies, and every now and then you get a punches pilot and... Oh, that was kind of interesting. So it doesn't propel you down through the cake. It creates an explosion around you to get rid of cake. So I'm guessing you're just making a bigger tunnel and probably losing less speed. That kind of makes sense. We get so much money so quickly now that I, I don't even really notice. <laughs> I'm gonna go on a bit of a spending spree and we should be buying bears. All right, I'm gonna get uh, Lieutenant Gel E. Boom. We'll get the Wanna Bears which will upgrade my pinatas, not too bad. Gumdolf is on sale, wonderful. And uh, I guess we could also upgrade some of them, like Jelly Roger and Rob Bear, maybe Teddy Flair and Punch's Pilot. Is there anything else I can get? Holy crap, okay, well, we'll make more of them appear and uh, get that cake eater, break through walls a little easier, and Flavor Master. Like, that would have taken me an entire episode, and I can not even get pinatas. What do you got for me, you little freak? <laughs> Something good, I hope. Oh, Chili Bomb. $22,000 a lot? I feel like $22,000 is probably a lot of money in this right now. That might have been a couple more upgrades. It's like I really need them. 9,000, 6,000. Okay, 22,000 is a lot. It's, it's the big golden fancy skull chest. I, I guess that's how you can tell. I don't even really know what I want. The pinatas are getting more and more irrelevant. Oh, I want discounts. You never know what you want until you truly get it. Now, chicken boy, this should be a real easy run for you. I know you're probably not gonna knock out Bernards, but I have no expectations of that. You did finish a challenge, which is pretty sweet. Realizing now that those challenges are actually somewhat important because they give you the shards for time travel. But the big thing now is you're gonna be the first person to go after all these upgrades. <laughs> Which means you should get a new high score quite easily. We've got a lot of new bears for you to encounter. They gotta be somewhere, right? Is there anybody out there? Okay, well, we missed one. <laughs> Not gonna take that to heart. Okay, you're gonna get bitten by the police. 
And you screwed it. Oh, oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe I counted you out a moment too soon. Oh, you still got a chili bomb. I didn't even realize. Also got a police officer hanging off your arse. <laughs> Never fails with this guy. He's just got a magnetic bum. And we're gonna get through and chain together a couple of bombs. Okay. Not too bad, I suppose. I keep thinking we're gonna get something juicy behind these, like a, a new kind of upgrade or something like that, but no, of course not. Speaking of new kinds of upgrades, it said that stopwatch mode would get me something. I don't know if I need to be like really good to make progress through this. I'm not even 100% sure what this is. <laughs> it's only one way of finding out. What is going on? Oh, 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 that police officer just stopped us dead in our tracks. I couldn't tell what was going on with the little bar. Okay, we got 622. Is that good? I've noticed in the stopwatch mode, there's some kind of timer in the bottom right hand corner. It's 30 seconds, it's counting down, and I don't know if it's, I need to get as far as I can in 30 seconds, or if something is gonna happen in 30 seconds, because it resets sometimes. I'm just gonna buy upgrades and see if it makes any difference. I think the biggest thing is going to be bouncing higher and just losing less speed, having more speed. Maybe earning a little money wouldn't hurt, that kind of thing. Upgraded our pinatas again. Okay, that should make a decent difference. Now, let's see if we can actually make something happen. I might not be supposed to do this right now. Like, there's a chance that I was supposed to do this back when I was a much higher level. Oh, okay, well, we actually saw a good fare for once. Yeah, you see, we're down to 19, 18, just kind of can't go far enough, can barely reach my record most of the time. <laughs> and I did manage to level up once, but it, it just gave me a candy. Now if I level up again, I get another candy. I think at level four we get something, but that could take literally hours. How about we end off this video where we started with Spank in a questionable position with the old Beaster Bunny. <gasps> Her foot is wrapping around so far that I'm pretty sure it's kicking him in the butt from the front. Even though technically, you can't say that she's done that before, right? because this is a different time. We went back in time, even though I don't really know how time travel works in this. Time travel is a confusing thing, and better yet, why do the candy creatures have the ability to time travel? What could they possibly use it for? Or why didn't we go back in time to the point before they attacked us? Why did we choose the beginning of the attack? Oh my God, that just struck me, and it's giving me a headache with how stupid these people are. We could have once again saved Mexico and we chose not to. <gasps> oh, excruciating. Come on now, first yourself. All right, yeah, you know what? That is a pretty fitting face to end off on. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Burrito Bison Lancha Libre, guys. And now that we're back in time, we've restarted, we're making a lot of progress every episode because there's so many upgrades to buy, we're getting so much money, and we have stopwatch mode, which I still don't fully understand, but we're gonna get better at. I'm eager to play more. You know, as always, if you guys wanna see more, just be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and I'll try my best not to play too much in between episodes. Maybe I'll just try to upgrade the amount of money that we earn because just something about being able to buy like 15 upgrades in a row that really gets to me. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.